Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 2. We are continuing the secret world thing. So we need to head into workshop and then click this little flower down here. Ah, oh, little flower. And then we have access to the Polybridge 1 game that we've been doing. So last time we completed World 1, Alpine Meadows, and we're into the Desert Winds. We did the first level, Wooden High Bridge, and we're currently on this Drawbridge level. And our main aim for these, as you can see, we're not just completing the level, we're doing it under budget, but also under budget and with no breaking. Because a one-use bridge is no good to anyone. Well, apart from the person that used it once, I guess. But anyway, let's start our drawbridge level. So two, two, two. <laughs> it's a lot of twos. Drawbridge, okay. So we got a camper van. They obviously want to go on holiday over here. But there's going to be a big boat in the way that comes through this river. Now, my first thoughts here are sort of, can I build like a hill over it? But then I looked at the road count. We've only got seven roads. Now, still, it might be worth just seeing where seven roads gets us. Oh, I reckon we can do something like that. Definitely. Okay, first things first. Let's just build this end just really expensively out of steel. Because uh, I want to see if our little camper van can even make it up there. And that boat is... <laughs> I think you got a bit too many people on board, mate. <laughs> You're a bit underwater there. Oh, it's going. I thought it was stuck, but it is still going. Go on, son. Get your wheel down. Get your wheel down. Go on. I'm not sure he's going to go. Where is he? I think he's still moving. All right, we're on 2,400% speed. Look at the water wibbling. <laughs> it's not rapids. It's just really fast. Uh, this car ain't going anywhere. Okay, what if we were to lower that one a bit just so it can get a wheel down? All right. The front wheel is on. Is the back wheel going to get on? It looks like it, actually. We're on 300% speed as well. Oh, it can sort of get up but it can't. Like, this one's too steep. Okay, so basically, I think that means we're going to have to make a drawbridge. But anyway, if we turn the grid on and then do a thing to there, that's exactly seven pieces. That's all the road we have. What I'm sort of thinking is we take that and we say cut. Then using the rotate buttons, we can actually get that out of the way. So we can plonk that there. Then we can build these as two bridges with a hydraulic underneath. And then that should just be able to lower down. Let's build this side first. We'll turn the grid off. All right, so hopefully that's somewhat strong. We need to put a joint in there. So we can just press J. We've got a joint. We need to put another one at that end. So that will allow them to lock together, which will make them nice and strong. Now I'm going to put a truss on top, but then I want a truss underneath to allow our hydraulic to have a bit of leeway so I can like move this wherever. All right, so I think we're good. I think the boat will go and then our hydraulic will work and then we'll all be good. Oh no, why is the hydraulic going straight? Oh, bollocks. <laughs> the hydraulic moves straight away. <laughs> yeah, if you come into this little info level thing, you can see hydraulics go and then the boat goes and then hydraulics go again. <laughs> Look, they're trying. Like, is that better, Matt? Have we fixed the bridge now? No. Okay, so that was, um, that was a bit silly of me. So let's just build that, but down here. Like, it's the simpler way of doing it. But, um, oh, you know what, though? It's a bit silly lifting up all of this bridge when we can just lift up this little end. All right, I'm no hydraulic expert. If you've watched any of my polybridge videos, you will know that. Ready? Ooh, 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 ooh. But I'm pretty sure, let's turn the grid on a sec, to get that to go 90 degree up. We basically want to use this as like our pivot arm thing. So it rotates about there. So to get that to go vertical, we need, we need that point at that point. Man, my brain just hasn't cut out for hydraulics. It's too early in the morning to be doing this. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, it broke. What if I replace those with steel and that with reinforced road? Oh my god, I did it! I actually did it! How did I do that? <laughs> I never thought that was going to work. When all the bits started breaking, it's actually going to go... Oh, legend! <laughs> I know hydraulics. Oh, bollocks. You got my hopes up, game. You got my hopes up. All right, so that end broke. What if we just reinforce that end? That'll be fine, right? All right, come on, bridge. Come on, bridge. Oh, you absolute tit. All right, next bit of road. You never want to, like, put rigid materials next to flexible ones because it just makes the flexible ones even worse. But uh, let's see how this works out. All right, come on, car. Come on, numbers. Stay down. Stay down. Yes. Yes, I did a hydraulic level. All right, so we were 14 grand. We were less than half budget, which is pretty good to be fair. 14,300. Let's look in the gallery, see where we were. Sorted by budget. 14,300 would put us about there somewhere, which means we're well on the second page. We're in the top half. We are in the top half. How did we manage that? <laughs> Anyway, as this is hydraulic level, this should be quite a good one to look at. Uh, so the cheapest option... Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Bacon pancakes, I know him. They've bloody 
dangling road with hydraulics. I hate that it's also quite impressive as well. Right, let's watch that again in case you miss it. Basically, it's a dangling road and the hydraulics make it dangle even more. So it goes under. Can you see that it goes under the water, under the boat, and then it gets pulled tight again. I'm not happy with that one. Uh, this next one, no problem. Oh, that's almost my first design. Oh, Matt, if you're just stuck with it, you could have got like the cheapest option. No, maybe not. That is cool though. I'm quite pleased that that was my initial thought though. Oh, look, and that's my second thought. That was what I was trying to do. How did they do that then? They just made like a smaller rotation point as possible. And I see they also had to put some reinforced road at the end though. So I wasn't alone. Oh my God, I'm looking at this one. Shut up, that works. And it's cheaper than my one. It's like the most basic thing ever. You just put two hydraulics out either side, make it go up. Big truss. Ah, oh, I can't believe that's cheaper than mine. I was feeling good about mine for a second. Cheers, Kazuma. Well, let's have a look at this one. Whoa, that's quite cool. I'm not sure if they intentionally did that or if it was completely random, but uh, it looks very cool. Oh, this does. I was waiting for one of these. This is what I thought about doing initially. The old rolling bridge. But uh, I thought it would use up too much budget because hydraulics are expensive. And this one has four. Yeah, you can see it was 16 grand. But uh, quite an easy way to do it if you can't be bothered to think about how hydraulics work. So maybe I should have done that. Save myself a headache. Oh, this one's done the same, but to the extreme. Look at the right one. It's so curled. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're on the last page, the most expensive designs. All right, what is this one? Bacon pancakes with an unusual design. Oh, it gives it a nudge. Oh, that's quite cool. No hydraulics required. Just a huge budget of 27 grand. Uh, this guy's gone, what the shit? <laughs> I thought that was just like a mental design, but it turns out it's like a big brain mental design. <laughs> Look how cool that is. See, this is why like I don't even bother learning hydraulics. Some people are so capable. There's just no point. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the experts. Oh, this one's going to be good as well, isn't it? It's the same guy. Man, where's it gone? <laughs> the bridge has disappeared. <laughs> then it, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right, this last one. What is that bit on the top doing? It's like a pendulum. Does that actually do anything? What What was that? Go back. So it just starts up. I think they just did it for the, for the banter. <laughs> for the shits and giggles. A fair, very, very over-engineered. We got like a big steel arch and then that pulls up a truss. So you basically got two bridges and then this one. What? Why has that one got a... <laughs> What's with all the dangling stuff? I don't get it. Have I missed a joke or something? All right, and then this one, if it loads. Come on, Polly Bridge. Stop giving me the dots. Give me the bridge. Give me the bridge. All right, there we go. Oh, so it's like the dangling road one. It's pushing it underneath the boat. But, uh... <laughs> A bit, a bit more expensive, 30 grand. What's with all these like cinematic camera angles? How'd you do that? Rico. Anyway, very cool. Let's move on to the next level. I, I. And with a name like that, I was expecting boats, but there's no boats. Oh, I, I. So if you, if you look here, we've got, we've got stars, two stars. So the yellow star requires the taxi to go via the star and the blue one, the same. Hence, we're going to need like an eyeball shaped. Well, not an eyeball, just an eye shaped. Hence, we're going to need like an eye shaped bridge. So we've got an extra material on this one. We've got some rope, but it is limited to two pieces. We've also got six steels. Uh, we can probably get away without those though. Right, to start with, I'm going to do the curve tool. If we draw across to there and then go down, and I think if we just about touch the top of the star, we're going to have to see how the road fills in, because obviously if it does like a straight, we might miss the top of the star. But uh, let's fill that one in. And this time I'm feeling a bit, a bit punchy. So I'm going to get my fists out and boosh, 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 boosh. Boosh. <laughs> have some of that. But as you can see, it filled it in. And I think the point of the star should be poking out the top. So hopefully we'll be able to get that. Uh, we'll do the same over the top with a curved line. How tall is the car? It's like three, three and a bit squares. So we should be able to get three and a bit squares underneath. Maybe there somewhere. So let's punch this road onto here as well. Boosh, 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 boosh. <laughs> Love doing that. All right, and then we just need to turn this into a bridge. So my initial thoughts, something like that. So if we grab that side, flip it over there, and then just connect those two together. So we're 13 grand of our 20 grand budget. Pretty pricey, but hopefully I can make these a bit smaller if it works. I'm not entirely sure it will work, uh, but let's see. Oh, it looks good, actually. We've got the star underneath. We Yes, we got the star on top as well. Nice. All right, so before we do anything, let's shrink this up. 
quite a bit. I'm just going to do one half of the bridge, and then we'll copy it over. I'm pretty sure we can sort of do like that sort of thing, make it nice and small. Just copy that to the other side and press play again. Yeah, stress is like... Tiny. So the question is, can I remove some pieces? Like, could I remove those two? Because I don't think that's really doing a lot. Let's have a look. Oh, it was. It was doing plenty. Okay, what about if we remove those ones instead? I guess it's still going to fail. Oh, no. Oh, the stress was high, but that's way better. We lost two pieces there. All right, let's watch this with the stress on and see, are there any bits that stay... Man, all the wood stays really green. It's just the road. So if we properly make those middle ones tiny... All right, this might be pushing it. That might be too small. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> if we try that, that's just a little bit smaller. Oh, that's good. Oh, nearly. Oh, I forgot to put the middle pieces in. Oh, do I not need a middle piece for the bottom then? That will save some money. So you can see that one. I completely missed the middle. Oh, no, I think we do need it. Because that just like spreads the weight throughout the entire structure. Yeah, you can see that. Definitely required. We're nearly under 12 grand. Can we get under 12 grand? Surely. I just did some tweaking. We're under 12 grand just now. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, a little bit more tweaking. It's no longer symmetrical, but... Oh, come on. All right, well, anyway, I can't quite get it under 12 grand. I don't want to spend forever tweaking this, especially as there's no actual leaderboards. So I've got to look up myself. Now, well, let's see where 12,037 quid got us. Oh, we're not on the first page. We're on the second page. Oh, even if we got under 12, we'd still just be on the second page, but at least we're in the top half. And looking at the other designs, the ones near me are pretty much identical designs. So that's cool. Let's have a look at the cheapest ones. A sec oh, it's all dangling rope. I can't compete with dangling road. Uh, we're not even going to look at any of the dangling ones. We're going to... That's the first one without dang... Holy crap. How does that stand? <laughs> how does that stand up? What? My brain isn't quite sure how that one works. But fair play, Dimmer, the wife... Really? You're going with that name? Not something to be proud of. Uh, here's another one that's very cheap as well. 11 grand. Decent. Oh, and actually, so mine was the fourth most expensive one that didn't cheat by using dangling roads. So I will take that. That's decent. Now, this one even used rope, and it was cheaper than mine. Fair play. I did not think using rope would be cheap. Rope's usually super expensive in this game. And the fact this guy used a square in the middle as well. <laughs> very unconventional. Uh, I'm very intrigued by this one. It's why are we zoom in. Oh, it's an eye. Oh, I've been hypnotized. It's an eye. It's an eye. Oh, man, look at this one. It's like proper circular. That's a proper eye as well. Decent. Oh, and this one. Everyone's made eyes. <laughs> I should have made an eye. Well, let's have a look at the most expensive design. <laughs> like, I will trust everything and anything. Good work, Sky Cake. All right, I decided to make my own eyeball bridge because uh, they look cool. <laughs> oh, and it worked. Sweet. That's, that's good to know. Anyway, let's go to the next level. The double overpass drawbridge. Oh, God. Really, game? You know I'm not good at drawbridges. Ooh, although actually, I think we can just go over the top. Let's get a curve in. We're going to unlock the tangents so that we can do like that sort of thing. Now, the thing is, we're doing this squid game style. So can we fill in the bridge without being seen? So, red light. Green light. <laughs> Quick, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. <laughs> Red light. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with myself? Oh, right. Anyway, let's turn this into a bridge. So I'm sort of thinking we go the arch route. So if we were to do a curve like from there down to there, I'm thinking following that sort of pattern. So let's try and trust this first. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. And then from there, we just get rid of that curve. We head straight down there. Can we do it in two pieces? We can't quite do it in two. But if we move that down a bit, and then we can. So that's good. Connect that back up. And then we go over the top from there. That looks dodgy as anything. <laughs> but uh, let's try it. It might, it might work. So copy over to there. Put a little piece in the top. Uh, uh, I feel like that will probably need reinforcing because we've got two joints there. So basically these can rotate. Uh, same with there. So this is quite a flexible bridge. I'm going to assume as weight comes on there, we'll probably collapse all this. Like we'll see some movement. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's looking good. Stress is so low. Right, boats, do they fit under? It's quite a tight squeeze in the middle, but looking good. And now we've just got the taxi to go. Now the taxi is slightly heavier. It may even drive faster as well, but stress is like so low. Oh man, easy. Easy, let's, before we do anything, let's just try making those trusses as small as possible. 
Okay, a bit too small. All right, and there we go. That's a lot cheaper. So we're just over 20 grand. So let's have a look in the gallery. Oh, if we could get under 20 grand, we'd be on the first page. But we're not on the first page. We're on the second page. But looking at this, look, seven pages of designs. So we haven't actually done too badly. Let's have a look at the cheapest ones. <laughs> look at this. So this one, they've taken advantage of like hinges not being able to bend two ways if they're at that point. Oh, but it did collapse at the end. So does that count? I'm not sure. Solution does have brakes. Yes, I'm not going to count that one. I'm going to only look at the ones without brakes. What is going on here? So this guy has strapped the two vehicles together and we can't actually see how the bridge works. <laughs> Okay, but this one, chicken face. Nice. So basically, that's my design, but super, super under engineered. So you can see all the trusses, they're really small, like really tight to the road to get it nice and cheap. Fair play, that's really good design. Uh, this one, fourth cheapest, but it's got hydraulic in it. So they actually worked out that using hydraulic to get out the way of the bridge, you can make a much lower structure, which uses a lot less material. That's really clever. That's sort of thinking outside the box. By doing a drawbridge exactly like the game asked you to. Um, <laughs> but fair play. It's all pretty similar design. They've also got these like people holding up the bridge. That looks very like architectury. We want it to look like the bridge is being held up by two people to represent the strength and honor of all the community and stuff. Oh God, I hate architects. But yeah, you can see they've all got like little miniature people. These ones do not skip leg day. They're uh, <laughs> they got them leg muscles. But yeah, let's go to page seven, the most expensive page. Okay, we seem to have a giant structure made out of steel, but there's also hydraulics. <laughs> just to get this. Oh, man. Oh, I swear this guy's like just messing with me. Trying to do the most stupid designs. <laughs> Oh, that makes me laugh. Now this one, we've got a massive shape in the middle. Oh, it's wobbly as well. It's wobbling all over the place. Is that a tribute to the strongest shape? I do not know. Oh, this one's got some rope involved. How is this going to work? Ah, nice. Get your bridge out the way. Good job, Brian. Oh, this one is a tribute to the strongest shape. Yes. <laughs> Double strong shapes. That's really cool. It's like a cable stay bridge with knobs. Uh, what is this one? It's the weird, it's the weird module build. All right, this is going to be a super over engineered one, isn't it? Ready? What? <laughs> I don't understand how you can possibly come up with that crap. That's really cool though. Fair play. And this one, I'm seeing a lot of hydraulics. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Ooh, they will sort of shimmy to the side. And then shimmy back. That's cool. I like that one. Uh, right, on to the next level. The slanted drawbridge. Oh, there's a lot of drawbridges in Polybridge 1, it seems. So for this, we've got eight road pieces. I assume if we do a straight line up to there. And uh, I don't know, what, what if we shotgun this full of road? Ready? Boosh. <laughs> right, so our eight pieces get us across. And then it's just a case of where do we drawbridge from? Now I'm sort of thinking... That should hold all of that. And then do we bring this up over that way? I'm trying to remember what the drawbridges earlier on did. Like the clever ones. <laughs> and say so we do have that there. So yeah, maybe we want to do truss on top. We'll joint that one. And then we'll do a bit of that. So first off, does this hold? Yes, it does. The car is the heavier vehicle. So I don't need to test that again. Now we just need a way of getting this middle part of the bridge out of the way. Now, if I was being like noobish, I would probably just do like rope up to there and then like a hydraulic. Like to there. I know that will work, but it's proper noobish. It's pretty expensive. We're still way under budget, to be fair. And um, that does work almost. Oh, God, it went. <laughs> it went a bit too far. <laughs> I'd probably tweak the hydraulics to uh, get this one. Is this going to go back normally? Surely it won't. Imagine if it did. That would be insane. No, it didn't. Uh, but yeah, I, I could tweak them to make them work properly. Although, actually, maybe that's not a bad way of doing it. If we were to, if we were to do that, <laughs> like I'm sort of using the wood as rope. Then we've got one hydraulic in there. Yeah, that should pull that out of the way. Is it high enough, though? Oh, that's not quite high enough. All right, so what if we do a really long hydraulic instead? Because I'll pull it further. It's so expensive. Like, oh, God, too far, too far. All right, but of course, the trouble with doing this is if you look at the shape of the boat, in order to not hit that corner there, this road would have to be like that direction. And if it's up there, it's just going to fall backwards. So that's never going to work. So I think we either need to move all of these back a bit Maybe to there. Then we can be somewhat vertical. We ideally don't want it vertical if we're going to do this weird rope method. All right, so we're just going to make that slightly longer until we're almost vertical. There's going to be a bit of movement. And that's pretty close. So we make that a little bit longer. 
How's that? Oh, it's still a bit too close, so a little bit longer. All right, so the trouble with this one is if you get too far, it does fall back. So what I could do is sort of move that down a bit just to keep the weight forward slightly. Oh, it's just trying to not make it hit. And that is the trouble with having this purely in tension. It means it can just move all over the place. If there wasn't this joint there, then it would be completely rigid. If I were to do this with one hydro, it'd be a lot more expensive though. So this will work perfectly as long as I can make it not lift up too much. Like that's pretty good. Will it go back? Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, so I've just replaced those with a bit of rope just to uh, prevent any movement from happening. And you can see that works perfectly now. It's it's so shit. I just panic when there's hydraulics. I don't know what to do. Yeah, but we could make that a lot cheaper. We were just over half the budget. But uh, look at our stress, 65.9%. Yeah, we should be doing a lot better than that, really. But uh, sod it. Let's have a look at the gallery. So ours was 14,800. This guy's nearly half the price of us. Look at that. That's way more sensible way of doing it. Because you're sort of getting the leverage. Hey, let me just have a look at the level. Did the rock... Oh, yeah, the rock does have an anchor there. Yeah, that's way, that's way more sensible. Fair play, Bacon. Uh, most of these use really small hydraulics. Hey, look at that one. It's so small, but it's so good. <laughs> you get so much movement. I'm just so bad at movement. Damn civil engineering degree. Why did you do this to me? Uh, yeah, I'm in the bottom half. So we didn't even make this page. Wait, what the shit? There's purple water. <laughs> Minecat, your water's gone purple. What is he doing? What's going on here? He put it on top. <laughs> He put the bike on top of the car. <laughs> yes, minecat. And at this point, I'm just wondering, is there any point in me doing the levels? I should just watch all these. These are way more exciting. <laughs> right, this one's got like a little testicle under there. What is that doing? Oh, <laughs> Bentley. That is a Bentley. Nice. I love that. That's my favorite bridge I've ever seen in the world. I think we need to watch that one more time. Maybe I should censor it. It's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, you can't, you can't not laugh at that. If you don't laugh at that, you're probably an architect. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the really expensive ones. What the hell? It's got a hydraulic muscle underneath. Look, it's like double trust. That is a lot of bridge for your money. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Fair play. Uh, this one, it's got a raise and lower trust system. Oh, actually, they've actually been quite clever there. They've done like a bit of a pivoting rotation movement thing. <laughs> I know words. And then this one is sort of what I considered at the start. <laughs> but a bit more over engineered. It's got like a trussy tower thing there. It's got some steel involved. Uh, pretty expensive, that one. But right, we've checked off a few more levels. We've got 10 remaining of World 2. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to boost the old like button. But otherwise, I'll catch you all next time. Peace, love and bridges. Bye, guys.